tonight to honor three special people. And if the graduates wouldn't care to come sit up here, if you don't care. If you, if you do care, you don't have to. And now turn to your neighbor and give him a high five. It's you tonight, you gotta get You see. <laughs> and now think back to when you graduated from high school. No. <laughs> Um, I'm supposed to be speaking tonight, but I want to kind of talk in between throughout. We got a lot of stuff planned. Um, um, my main text for tonight is Jeremiah 29 11. You all probably heard it. You know, the, the plans for, that God has for your all's lives means to prosper you and to give you a good future, to give you a great future. And Sorry, I've got a tickle throat. But um, anything that God has for you, has planned for you, is to prosper you, to give you a good future, to give you hope, to give you peace, to give you an amazing life. And you know, if we just give everything that we have to God, um, He'll give us everything that we need. And you all have a clean slate. You just got out of high school right now. You're free for the summer. You don't have any homework or any due dates or anything like that. So, you know, it's awesome that um, we can turn our life over to God and that He can guide us and direct us and everything that we do. And if we put God first place in our life, He does amazing things for us. And it's awesome that you have the God of the universe in control of your life. And if He's not the Lord of your life tonight, whether you're a graduate, whether you're just a visitor here, whether you come here often, whatever, if God's not the center of your life, make Him the center of your life because it's so much easier with Him. And now I think the puppets have something. While they're getting set up, I'll just keep going. But, um... You know, college is uh, it's fun. You know, I'm still in college. Um, um, but, you know, there's a lot of bad stuff there. And um, there's a lot of ways that you can go and crowds you can get in. And it's awesome that if you keep Jesus first place, you can stay away from those things. And college can be a fun thing. It can be a place where you can witness to people, where you can flourish in Him and find out what He wants for you. And I've been blessed in my life. I have amazing Christian friends at college. I've had amazing Christian friends in high school that are still my friends, and we luckily we go to the same college. But you know, you can find that. You can you can have that for yourself, and you can find people to lift you up and stay away from all the bad. Because there's a lot of bad out there, and you know they say people say that some things can make or break you, and college is one of them. You know, there's a lot of stuff offered at college that's bad that you can get in and not even realize until you're down at the bottom. But it's it's amazing that. You know, if you keep God first place. I know that when Peppa talks about going to the army, he talked about um, people ridiculed him and said, you know, when you go to the army, you're not going to come out a Christian. There's no way. There's too much stuff. You can kind of compare that to college. You know, your friends might say, oh, when you go to college, you're going to want to party. You're going to come to parties with me. There's going to be so much fun stuff to get into. But, you know, just like Peppa said, when he came home, he was still a Christian because he kept God first place and you can too. And he can make your life amazing and lead you on the right path. So we all shut up. The puppets have something for them. Well, I'm not a puppet, but I'm going to have to say a couple of things. Congratulations, you guys have finally made it. It's a big accomplishment in life. Uh, I remember, it's been a while, and I remember sitting in that seat as well, uh, not to re-teach what I spoke on a few Wednesdays, or I think a couple months ago, but I led service one Wednesday night, and, and I talked a little bit about titles, and you guys are going to be going to college, and whatever major you're going to be or whatever you're going to do in life. Uh, you know, we have, somebody meets Brother Emmons, he says, I'm the pastor of Hickory Grove Church. Or uh, me and my professional um, life, it's Lisa, I'm HR manager at Carmoose. Or it's, um, you know, Larry, and he may say, you know, he works at Emerson. Or whatever your, your different uh, positions are, you know, people know you sometimes by your title. So you guys may have a title, you may have letters after the end of your name, like Princess Wendy or Wendy Princess. It's a, a joke that we'll get into a little bit later. But uh, regardless of what your title in life is, you need to be known as, you can put your name in place, child of God. Christian, I'm Lisa, you know, first and foremost, I'm Lisa Wellman, child of God. So as you go down life's road and, and prosper and uh, just remember, regardless of what your title is, at the end of the road, it's not going to matter if I have a PhD, a master's, or if I'm doctor this or doctor that. It's I'm Lisa Wellman, child of God. So I hope you guys have a prosperous future. I know that you will, and good luck in all that you do. And.
So first I would like to introduce uh, our first puppet, which is Darren Hampton.
Veronica, Harlow. I got a sister, Shannon and Tori. I also got a brother, John Michael. My granny is Pam C. Baston. I see you back there. You want to play hide and seek? Maybe later. When I'm at school, I love to play basketball. I was a loose country lion. I also like that weightlifting class. It made my abs look good. Now I got one of them. Aren't they? They're girlfriends too. Her name is Tiffany Michael Parker. She's Thank you guys, we appreciate it. 